Right, so here's the man himself, John. Um, first of all, thank you for um, having us down here. It's a pleasure. Right, now, um, hypnotherapy, what, what is it all about? Hypnotherapy is always a means of, well, speaking to people and putting them in a the state of mind where you can help them with problems, psychological problems, obviously, and uh, help them get over it. And it's a way of inducing a trance in people by speaking to them in a certain way, in a certain manner, which is a very deep form of relaxation, where you're getting into people's subconscious minds and dealing with their, well, dealing with their mind and uh, helping them overcome whatever it might be in there they don't particularly want. Right. Now, um, can um, any uh, person be hypnotised or is it um, a certain, certain person in a certain frame of mind? Uh, anybody can be hypnotised. Some people are, are easier than others. Uh, Actually, how it works, to be honest with you, is uh, the more intelligent you are, the easier it is. I'll be easy then. <laughs> uh, it's as simple as that. Right. Uh, I.e., intelligent people use a better imagination. And uh, it's all about using your imagination, getting that mind of yours where you want it, or where I want it, to get you where you need to be. Right. And. Um, could you program a person to do anything? Only if they wanted to. You, could, you can't get people getting doing things they don't want to do. Right. Um, for example, you see people on television on Paul, shows like Paul McKenna, they're hypnotised, they're doing whatever they're asked to do. But people in that situation, they want to be part of the show. Right. They, they want to do these things because they want to be part of the act of the show. And... Uh, the people he chooses from the audience are the more susceptible ones to do what he needs them to do. Right, because I always thought that um, basically he um, chooses people at complete random no. and he just brings them up, you know, um, says to them, you are feeling sleepy, clicks his fingers and the away they go. No, how, how he used the words is that he gets uh, quite a percentage of the audience on stage. Quite an eye percent, the amount of nine percent of the audience on stage, depending on how big the studio is or if it's theatre. If it's a theatre, obviously, you're not going to get everyone on the stage. Get the stage full of people, he does what we call an induction into hypnosis with them, and uh, and he sees right away which ones are hypnotized and which are not, or which are going and which are not going, and he chooses the ones that he feels are the easiest prey, as it were. That's how they work, stage hypnotists. Another way of doing it for stage hypnotists is for the hypnotist to go out into the audience uh, before the show starts and basically they go, they go and have a chat with the audience uh, passing the time of day but what the audience don't realise is actually doing an, in, an hypnotic induction on them and the percepts of the, really, the ones that have really well really perceptible for hypnosis you'll notice them start nodding a little you know going but he'll leave it at that and go on to other people. And he'll go around the audience until he's chosen in his own mind enough people. They don't realise what he's doing. He'll go off stage, drum roll starts. He comes running back on the stage. Hello, evening, good evening, gentlemen. Blah, 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 because that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> good evening, everybody, you know, I mean, I've arrived. And um, he'll say, I want you, 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 you. He'll, they think they're being chosen at random, but he's already chosen them. Right. That's how it works. I bite my nails really yeah. badly, and I have done since a very, very early age. Yeah. Could you hypnotise me in order to not bite my nails anymore? Yeah. Well, I don't, well, what I say, sorry, I've done it with many people and been succeeded with them. You know, it's as simple as that. And how would you programme my mind? So rather than me seeing my nails and thinking, mm, they look tasty, well, what, 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 how would you re Program it. As I said, back to hypnosis again, as such, get you in a lovely, relaxed state of mind, an hypnotic state of mind, a trance. And when you're in that trance, what you do is tell people certain things, suggest certain things to them, what feed them positive energies, positive ideas. So rather than wanting to buy the nails, there's other things more important, like looking more attractive to somebody. Like women, for instance, girls. Like for you, a young gentleman, you want to look good for your women folk. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
think of the client. <laughs> <laughs>